Hey, Celine, how are you? I feel so refreshed after yesterday's rain. You know what? Me too. This year's summer is quite hot. Celine, I've always been very curious about health and long life. I know that you might also know humans have longevity genes and chemicals and molecules that help you stay healthy and fit. You mean the network of mTOR, AMPK, and sirtuins? Yes, they turn on when we exercise or fast. But they also appreciate that they talk to each other. Then you must know the molecules and chemicals that help them upregulate or downregulate. What molecules? Like yesterday, I told you a little bit about resveratrol. Yeah, right. How do you make it? When I face adversity and not suitable conditions like more light, less rain, not enough water, and not enough nutrients. Look, Elsa dear, plants also need to survive like you humans do. Like if there's not enough rain, I become stressed out, not mentally, but my system starts to fear that I might die, so I start making polyphenols. I know what polyphenols are. A phenol is just a ring of carbon with some hydrogens on it, and poly obviously means more. So resveratrol is just the two carbon rings with some little eight oxygen hydrogen, and I make a ton of it. So whenever you go on a diet and want to eat healthily, don't go for the plant that has never faced adversity and is grown in the perfect temperature of the greenhouse. Go for the plant that has survived. It will have those nutrients. Your aunt understands this and raises me without chemicals, pesticides, and man-made fertilizers. She feeds my roots with healthy compost, which she makes using earthworms, which also feed the soil. Because I have to work harder, I become stronger fighting off soil and insect predators naturally. This is healthy adversity. But people say a protein-rich diet is a good way and that makes them lean and healthy. Your auntie will explain you more effectively than I can. Why don't you try to ask her about what I'm saying? I'll ask her when she'll be back from her heart clinic. Sure. The thing here is, Elsa, that we need to understand that a protein diet in adversity makes your body's defense system focus more on lack of protein and abundance will make you look good and muscular. But it will not have long-lasting effects. It can last five years or 10 years, but it will not boost the production of your energy-making molecules or machines of your body. Sooner or later, they start to reduce. What do you mean by that? You know NAD? That's a molecule that helps convert food into energy. Not only that, but also help DNA structure to be maintained. Yes, this helps control the process of aging. Here I want to tell you that if the NAD starts to decrease in our body, the whole body starts to age, and to control this, only NAD boosters can help. And resveratrol is one of them, right? Exactly. I think Aunt Courtney is back from her clinic. You should go then. Goodbye, Celine. See ya. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and get notified.